Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today with the Tri-C Alumni Organization, and we're here at Hale Farm and Village with John Kamitz. Thanks for talking with us, John. My pleasure. Talk about what you do here at Hale Farm. You're a Tri-C graduate. Well, uh, actually, I'm what's known as a historic interpreter. And uh, after retiring from the newspaper business, the Sun Newspapers, after 33 years, uh, I was uh, looking for something to occupy my time better. And so I answered an ad and came here. Uh, I talked to school groups uh, during the school year about 19th century medicine. Uh, I talked about things like uh, well, doctors back then, bloodletting, amputations, leeches, all that good stuff from back then. And as I'm doing today, I talk about some of the houses that uh, I'm in, the sites that I uh, talk about from day to day. And, of course, the costuming is part of it as sure. well. Talk about uh, your experience at Tri-C. You were in one of the very first classes, isn't that right? That's correct. It was... Uh, don't ask me for dates, but it was the very first uh, uh, class to, uh, to go through Tri-C down right. in downtown Cleveland in the old Brownell building. Right. And that in itself was historic in many ways, both the setting that it was in, but also that we were making history. It was the first time that a junior college had uh, been uh, operating, uh, organized, and running, uh, as far as I can recall, in uh, Greater Cleveland. So it was... Uh, Quite a historic venture. What were you studying back then? What did you? What courses study at, at Tri-C? Well, I, at first I didn't know what I wanted to major in, but I gravitated toward journalism, and ended up uh, uh, c completing uh, some of my coursework at Tri-C, and then transferring to Kent State University, where I uh, eventually got my bachelor's degree in journalism. And that led to uh, quite a long career, isn't that right? 30-some years? Yes, at Sun Newspapers. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, in between, after college and before I went to uh, uh, Sun Newspapers, I was in the Navy for four years and di did some uh, writing and picture editing and things there uh, as... Uh, a cruise book editor, they called it. It's kind okay. of like a, a yearbook for uh, ships. Wow. How did your education at Tri-C help you? I understand you, you went to Tri-C for a while, and then you, you ended up overseas. How, how did that impact your, your career and your life? Well, of course, it gave me direction uh, for the first time uh, after getting out of high school uh, and, and uh, discovering my interest uh, at uh, Tri-C. Uh, I knew uh, essentially what I wanted to do for life, and writing and uh, reporting, and so uh, it was a very important step for me. And at an economical, uh, uh, in an economical way, because uh, it didn't cost. Well, of course, costs keep going up today, but back then, even it was uh, much less expensive than going to a regular university. Uh, and you could always transfer after you completed your two years. Right. Thanks so much for taking time to talk with us, John. No, you're quite welcome. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.